Good morning, everybody. Welcome into part 28 of Final Fantasy X. Last video, we uh, ended with eating Seymour. Final time. And now we have the option either go do more side quests or end the game. I've decided simply to uh, get the story done. If enough people in the in the in the comic section uh, ask me to do more, like you know, the Mega Ruins, the Monster Ruins, do some Blitzball, we can come back to this series anytime, and I will do all those side quests. Um, but main focus right now, I want to beat this game. And uh, yeah, if you guys haven't hit that subscribe button, please do. But until then, let's go. Right. So, Seymour battle took place. Now we're in this little, almost like a city, almost like a, an old ruined city. Um, there are a few things left here and I'm gonna try to catch majority a majority of the enemies again. So I would like Arn back in our team. Any enemy that we have caught in we will um, catch this. Oh damn we got the ghost. Okay, 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 here we go. Start off, straight, at, straight with a hard enemy, but he's not too hard. He just casts Doom on somebody and... Whoever gets hit, like, if Titus hits zero in this fight, he, die, he dies, but he will not let that happen. For Blizzard. Oh, wow, that was an easy fight. All right, since since we have Waka as capture too, it's gonna get him some experience. Actually, you know what? No. Gonna get Eunice. Alright. We got them. Alright. Uh, behind here. Is a wall. Like, wall be able. Okay, so I think there's three walls. We need to catch nine fiends. Or find all nine fiends in the area. And when you do, you can come back here and open up the wall. But just. I don't know if. Okay. If I remember from last video, we caught. One, two, three, four, I think five, and the ghost is six. So there's, I think there is a few, couple more. Wrong, but we'll come back to it. You can always put the no encounter and come back and check this out. But there are some good items back there. But for now, we're not worried about right cat capturing the same enemy again. The purpose of this video today is to show you where all the chests are in this area. Uh, catch the enemies we haven't caught. Uh, 
Well then, what next? Second, I thought he actually ate him. Fun fact too, guys and gals. Uh, if you heal outside of the battle, it'll actually still cost the amount of whatever it costs. Fortunate. Oh man. And, okay, 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 okay. Walk out here. All we have to do is throw the ball. And we're good. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Got the great one. That's it. That's it. We drop some good experience. Once I once I catch one, then I'm like, okay, I don't care anymore. Then I can battle it. And this is the one that ooh. Okay. Too. Well, I might as well get other people in here for Oh, he could probably kill him. Uh. Bring Waka out just for a hit. No, oh, Titus, no! Okay. Oh, got a little worried there. Maybe his counter was going to kill him. 
still think there is one more enemy. A couple more enemies for sure, but I think there's a giant. I don't even remember actually. Ugh. It's been so long since I fought most of these that I completely forget who what is so I see it and I go, oh yeah. Guess here. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so I think we have a few more meat left before we run back and check it out. Uh, because we got the preventive right here, probably just gonna kill it. He's gonna do bad bat. Okay, good. Yeah, when you can kill somebody that fast. Alright, so this area has a few ways you can go. don't want to face the monsters, always put that no counter on, and unders. You can skip this whole section, get to final boss, which is sin. Oh, yeah, this guy sucks. I remember. Enemy can't kill. We'll just keep a hit of him with this. Like it's low enough, and then we'll bring R out to finish it. Who makes these things? 
for this purpose, this video alone, we're going to be trying to get every monster. Ones that we already caught, we're going to run away, and then we're going to get to Sin, and I'm going to show you how it Holy moly, he's got a lot of health stuff. Cast haste on Yuna. This move can kill you. Yep. gonna wait. Bring out Lulu. Let's end this. Cards. Got nothing to do really. Aaron will bring him in. Bring Farmer. Farmer. He's gonna be first. This was one of the harder guys that took me a while to capture in the last game. But unfortunately last last game I also went pretty pretty hard on catching actually all ten of them. I didn't realize you didn't have to, you didn't have to catch all ten, but I when I actually hundred percent last game I got I got all the monsters. Done. All right, Arn. I hope this is enough because I am. Ugh. Oh man. <laughs> there we go. One good thing about this game is once battle's over, like poison, all that stuff is off the person. It gives you that benefit, so you actually have to heal. Here or heal. Fighting this guy again. But... I won't go so easy on you next time. I think there's one less less monster I have left. But what we're gonna do? I'm gonna go take a quick heal. Go do a quick heal to get Titus's. MP back and all that, and all at the same time, I'm gonna just quickly check, see if I got the first wall down. Five. 
five beans still seek for one. Wonder if that means I have. I can't remember. Okay. So forgive me on this, guys. I don't remember if that's five new fiends or just five fiends. Um. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna quickly just put on this and. Oh, well, this has to help me anyways to do enemy. <laughs> I was just going to fight an enemy to see if it makes a difference, but he's new. Need to catch him. I'm glad I healed because this guy does a lot of damage. I don't know. He's immune to a lot of stuff. I don't know if Danny's going to hurt. Yes, Demi works on everything here. What I remember, I think, for the most part, we got most of our characters. Or, sorry, capture most. I'm gonna say four, but let's see if we. I just wanna fight one extra monster. That's something that we've already fought. Fortunately, we got this one. I don't care about capturing him. If it winds up being hard, we'll capture him, but for the most part right now, I just want to see if that wall is just based on fighting enemies alone. The cat worked up.
Okay, it is just based on fighting. Okay, cool. Uh, for that part, then, I'm just going to bring out Lulu. So, uh, I'm going to knock down the first wall. Oh, no, we're not. I repeat. Um, regardless of the fact, we're going to keep moving forward. I'm going to go take a quick heal. Just so... With Titus is using, um, Aska. Taking up a lot of mana, for one. Ghost is absolutely the best one to face, especially with Kamari. I'm just gonna kind of farm around here so that I can get to the save. Uh, we need two more enemies. But this guy gives a lot of experience. I mean, don't get me wrong, all these enemies are pretty gross right now. The fact that we have Lulu's ultimate weapon helps us a lot in this area. The fact that Ari is just an absolute beast makes things a lot easier. I think the first wall is 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 fighting the enemies. The second one is actually fighting different enemies. It was a bad fight, a really bad fight, but got it, got it. We're just gonna quickly do a save, heal. I always, always save in this area just because all it takes is fighting a wrong group of enemies or a enemy and he does either bad breath and he <laughs> kills you. Yeah, now free the releases. Seven. That's the first wall. Next one is fight enemies, different enemies, which I think we have. Because I don't, don't believe there's any extra enemies here. Enemies. Oh goodness gracious! We have to face ten more. 
All right, so I'm not gonna worry about that right now. We're gonna continue. I won't go so easy on you next time. Okay, for the sake of this video, we're gonna continue and face certain enemies that will be easier. Oh, we haven't got everything yet. Wait, haven't we? Have we gotten these guys last? The other area. Yeah, we fought them last the other area. Like always, Demi will do a lot of work. And Marius is gonna do his thing. I guess it's gonna act like he can do his thing, but. Oh, bro! Punk to me. No! Jesus! Man, I'm making. Oh, many mistakes right here. I apologize, guys. <laughs> I do believe, though... These count as two fiends for that wall. But either way, uh, as we're progressing, you're starting to see how fast you can level in this one. Um, whether you want to spend the time doing this, it's up to you. Um, this area is good for leveling up if you have double AP, double AP, whatever the case be. If you don't, um, there are ways to level without it. that like yeah so much experience here it is worth doing everything you can you will make all these bosses super easy and there is ways prior to even going in this area to make the monsters or the bog like they can die super easy. uh if you want to spend time in the yeah. uh, I highly recommend going to every other area before this. Afrin recommended monsters. And just spending some time in the arena. It might not be the most efficient, or sorry, the, uh, it might not be the m most. It's gonna, let's just be honest, it might be boring, but. In the long run, it'd be awesome because, like, you can, if you can plow through these enemies, you're gonna have no problem facing Sin, whatnot. But if you want a challenge, keep going the way that I'm going right now, and we'll, you will get through the game. It's not difficult. It's a lot of these bosses are just learning how to survive, and once you learn how to survive, you're gonna be okay. Alright, so this time we're gonna continue going. Okay. Oh. 
we got lucky there. And we got Lulu going twice here. Pretty much all I can tell you guys is if you get the ultimate weapons that I've shown you, and if you feel like going capturing all, all the monsters in 10 different zones, you can get Arn's ultimate weapon. If you feel like playing Blitzball, you can get Waka's ultimate weapon. They're all there if you want to go do it. It's just whether you want to go do it or not. Uh, this game tends to reward you for venturing around and looking, but it also rewards you or makes things difficult if you don't, just because, you know, some of these monsters can hit really hard and make your life a little hell. Especially like what just happened to Kuna, she's got one shot at Unfortunately, we'll have to bring her up with Mari, but that's okay. You might get You might die again. There we go. Right, she's gotta cure herself this way. Damn, I should... Alright, there we go, I should... There we go. Oh, because I didn't do armor break. Alright, All right, so we're in a new area now.
Yeah, he is one hit away from dying. Thank God I healed Kamari before doing that. There's a few treasures in this this area. Um, I think for purpose alone right now, I'm going to format Titus, and, and we're just going to equip no encounter. Came that way. I knew there was not a way to go. Remember which. This here, you go, you go pretty much north. That's it. This is this is technically your final save point. You go north, you're done. Uh, I'm gonna go get that chest to show you how to get it. Then, not again. Oh, I was. I don't can't remember what item that is. Lulu's or Eunice. Right. Overdrive. Um. So, the next fight that we're coming up with. This is actually going to be a big weapon if we use Titus. Zombie Strike or Zombie Touch. So good. Um, we also got an added no counter in this area. This area, the monsters do drop 
no counter, so if you don't have one, there is a chance that you might get one. And I think the one that dropped them was the ghost. Zombie touch, nice, okay. Yeah, look, no counters. So I have a feeling it was the ghost in this area. I think I feel like that's what the right answer is here. So we are about to face Finn for the final time. Um, I'm going to do another save just in case I make alternate videos from here that will show you how to do the remaining stuff like Omega Ruins, talk more about the arena, and capture the monster so I can get Arn's ultimate weapon. I might even play some Blitzball on the side, but but from here, this is it. Oh, this is where you can decide if you want to continue or not. Okay, so two things that you want to do here before you go into the battle: you want to equip Titus with that zombie strike that he had. Um. And you also want to put items like something that has stone on it, which I just does have, so it should be good. If anyone else has stone on it, we'll definitely be putting it on. Dark board, sleep board. All right, that on. Yep, one more room, water, fire, and all that. What we're going to do is we're going to customize uh, Titus's field, uh, sword before we go in. Um, piercing's fine. We'll also add strength. And maybe evade and Um. Now uh, for customize, let's go to All right, let's grab that. See if she has stone or something we can put on. Stone proof would be awesome, but we don't have purified grenades, fortunately. So we'll put stone word on that. It helps, but it's not guaranteed. And that Aaron put Stone Ward on here too as well. Okay. Go in. Uh guys, this will be the last time you can save. Go in here. There's gonna be uh, crystals you need to collect. Items will also come up or be able well sorry. As the crystals you're collecting, you'll be also receiving items, so you have to get 10 of them, so you'll ideally get 10 items. Uh, each time you do it, it may be different, it may be not. Uh, so what you see on my screen may not be exactly what you see on your screen. But uh, I'm going to trim up the volume a little bit here. I will be turning it back down once the battle starts. That's one. Uh, these do populate all over the place and disappear like you just saw. These crystals that are forming from the ground will draw an enemy of some sort. If you get hit. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. <laughs> I don't 
don't think I'm gonna make it, but I'm gonna try. Got it. Sometimes they're just in a weird place. Oh, I don't know how I didn't get a uh, an enemy there. I ain't gonna make that one. Uh oh. Uh, you can still run away from them, so they don't. You don't have to face them. But this is your last chance. If you wanted to, ideally farm, uh, do it outside the the save, not in here. Oh. Oh. Uh. And I ain't gonna be. Especially when they do a lot of damage. Well, not damage, they just put that ability on. Need two more. Alright. What? Oh, oh. oh, that's dirty. Once you get 10, it starts and triggers the next stage, which you will be talking to Braska. Not Braska, uh, Jet. I'll put a, it'll be a cutscene. I will play this until the battle starts, and we'll turn the music down a little bit. still bigger <laughs> well I am sin you know that's not funny you have to do yeah I I can't hear the hymn so well anymore pretty soon I'm gonna be sin completely I'm glad you're here now one thing though when it starts I won't be myself anymore. I won't be able to hold myself back. I'm sorry. That's enough! Let's finish this, okay? You're right.
Let's go. It's gonna start. A few things you want to do right off the bat. First, I'm gonna be lowering the the music because of this sweet, epic guitar, hard metal cover. I mean, you're gonna still be able to hear it, but. Probably a good spot, but at the same time, still pretty, pretty quiet. All right, so first thing you want to do, you want to put Haska on everybody. Uh, next. Um... You know what? Let's go. Let's bring out, bring out Amina just to get everything going. Thinking about bringing Bahama out just to destroy the pillars behind him, but This alone will do a lot of damage, too. And, depending on how much damage he does to Anima, we might... Be able to get another one, another overdrive out of this because his first form doesn't do a hell of a lot of damage. It's his second form that does like crazy DPS. Yeah, like right now, we're definitely able to take it. I think if we can hold off the first, the next overdrive, we might be able just to get him in the second form, use it, and then it just gives us a chance to potentially be able to do this without even having to risk a lot.
Depends how many more attacks he gets, because we can't even see. Ah, okay. Okay. That's fine. I like to always do power. Uh, break on him just because he tends to or he can do I should say a lot of DPS and he's still got a lot of health left wow okay never mind um I think we're gonna wait for the next phase. Or the like next attack for us because I don't wanna get hit right away with There we go. Okay. So we're gonna talk. That Stops him from coming at us right away. Gil, we're going to power break him just in case he attacks us in the first form. Uh, well, actually, you know what? Do this. Wait, why didn't... Oh, yeah. He's going to lose his, his bar because Titus talked to him. You can only do that twice in the whole, in the whole battle. Okay, here we go. We'll uh, we'll get him in the second phase, and this is where you may or may not want to bring out another Aeon. Um, it will definitely help. There we go. Now we get a lot of attack on. Okay, second form. He's gonna have now 120k health. He's going to have this giant sword that will sweep across the whole field and hit everybody. Um, not going to happen every single time. He still will do jet beam. And those pillars, if we can... But... Get rid of them, they would be wonderful. I don't want to talk. I want a sword play. Stop. Twice I hit the wrong buttons. Could do very little DPS too. Here comes the AoE attack. It didn't do as much because we do the power break on him all the time, but still. What we're going to do is I'm going to throw a Mega Heal down. And for this part here, I'm going to bring Yuna out. I'm going to summon Bahamut this time. For two reasons. He's going to do his attack. And then if we can get our overdrive up, which we should, we can hit everything. And we should be able to break those pillars. And giving us the chance to then have a couple moves where we can do armor break, um, 
power break, and then also hopefully cast slow go on him. And plus, Bahamut does pretty good DPS too. We still have one more talk ability, too, where Titus can talk the bar down so he doesn't have to do his overdrive. But if you are afraid of potentially getting hit or, you know, things going wrong, there's always this. Oh, I forgot. Impulse actually breaks both of them. There we go. Oh, that's unfortunate. That's so unfortunate. We didn't even get a chance to use any of it. Ooh, that works really good. Oh, good. Okay, so... Did we bring Kamari back out? Yeah, we should bring Kamari back out. We're going to use the talk, too, because we're going to lower his bar here. Um, you know what? Yeah, you know what? Let's use the Fury. Maybe I should have used haste on Lulu. I highly recommend always using power. Uh, if you have the full break one. I can't remember where, where it is on the board. Uh, that eventually would do all, all of them for you, and then you never have to do two of them. Uh-oh. Lulu's dead. I don't know why he got two attacks there. Why is he getting all these attacks? What the heck's going on here? Why 
Wow, that was... Someone's gonna die. It's fine, but still, this this is. I don't know why he got two attacks in a row. Uh, to help out here, I'm going to bring out Shiva because Shiva has an overdrive full. This this battle's getting sticky for some reason, and I don't know why, and I don't like it. Got it. GG. That was really bad. But, guys, once you get past that, once we get past this fight, or this path, like that boss fight, you pretty much beat the game. You can't die in the next part. And I'm going to show you why, because you get pretty much auto health, auto everything, so even when you do get technically knocked down, it'll bring you up for free. But either way, watch the scene. This is very sad. job to do, don't we? Good. That's right. You are my son, after all. You know, for the first time, I'm glad to have you as my father. <laughs> so, Jack, no, Yuna, there's no time. You stay away! Yuna, you know what to do. The Aeons! We Aeons! Call them! Call us!
All right, so the pretty much all this is is just you're basing all the aeons. I'm gonna start with one of the hardest ones because they're for one their uh, evasion is so ludicrous. But uh, one fun fact about this battle is you can't die. You can't unless you absolutely stone yourself by accident or on purpose. Can't. So, yeah, this is just get them down as fast as possible. If you only had the original five, you would you would have an easier job. Plus, you have the stones here again. Uh, they just never go away. So what happens is you summon the Aeons, you Yevon affects them, you down each one of them, then you get you have you Yevon by itself. Uh, I think personally to deal with them hands down is to summon an Aeon. Uh, you might die, uh, you might not. If you had an overdrive, like if I had Shiva, Shiva's overdrive for this fight and not had to use it on uh, Jet's, Jet's battle in phase two. We would have easily got the, the uh, these uh, Magnus sisters down, eat no problem. But they're going to probably destroy Shiva, but at the same time, I want to try just hands down eat them. Um, so I'm going to try to do the middle one first. To probably kill me yeah i tried to go for the one shot and it failed i probably should have gone after this the smallest smallest one but all right so just be prepared this is going to be an ugly ugly long battle what you can do Keep using magic on on them. Oh wait, doesn't Lulu have double cast now? Still gonna have her heal just because if we can get her overdrive this could be quicker too all right we're gonna probably die I guess I didn't get double cast yet. It's a shame. Okay, fine. Good thing is, we got Yuna's Overdrive, so let's bring him out. Thor's Hammer should finish off. Finish off them, and the rest is pretty straightforward.
Beautiful. Just like that, we are good. We got the hardest one down. Um, you can keep doing that for any Bahamut that you're having trouble with. If you if you know that the, one of them is gonna give you give you hassle, just keep healing, even though you're dying. The great thing is you're always gonna get auto health at one HP, and if you use it on, is with Yuna's ultimate weapon and her uh, triple overcat or overdrive ability. You pretty much will get almost an overdrive every two moves almost if you be cure all the time. Unfortunately, she won't get one on herself, though. Um, so just bring out somebody who give you haste, if possible. If Kamari would have hit, that would have been over, but... You can single-handedly get rid of, uh, not get rid of, but you can defeat each one of them with one hit. Some of them have high evasions, like Yojimbo and the Mega Sisters. So for me, I'm just trying to get them out of the way right now. Bring out Yuna. This will kill us. Or kill Yuna. But again, can't die on her. Auto life. Missed by Kamari. But okay. He missing so much. Mari has probably one of the highest accuracies. A 
much HP do you got? Yeah, we're gonna... We are definitely gonna get hit. Oh, screw it. Let's just get... She can't miss, so let's just hit her. The reason why I bring out the hard ones first. Again, even if the whole team dies, we can't die. At least this time. Pretty much just gotta get through Bahamut now, and that's pretty much GG from there. Um, there are probably one that has pretty high agency, which is Shiva, but for purposes alone, Yuna or Lulu can pretty much take them off. Just watching Yuna, watching her Aeons pretty much just get taken out one by one. Oh, that would be devastating. I'm messing. Don't forget too, guys. I didn't really go after all the jet spears. I did find half of them. If you didn't want to go after the other two or three that's remaining, I think there's only five of them. 
uh, they would unlock arms two other two other it's either one or two other overdrives that are that do more DPS. Alright, I'm gonna bring Yuna out soon just so that I can get some healing to get her overdrive because I want to use it on you, Yevin. Just to make this super, super fast. You, Yevin, actually does have a lot of health. Oh, I wish... Wish he would have gone after Kamari and Kamari would have missed because that would have been an easy fight. What am I doing? Uh, let's just bring out somebody so I can... For some reason I saw the plus and I forgot that it was... The other way around. This should get us almost a full overdrive. has her overdrive back. I'll be putting it on. Probably we'll bring the Mega Sisters out just for their thing, but I don't know. But how she got left. Oh, Yuna, get get out there. Just get out there and just cast, cast Blizzard on it. I'm sure I could be enough on it. Come on. <laughs> Rare sight that you would see. I love it. more. Got you, Yavin. Then we're done. Oh. Lulu alone will kill him because we're going to use Blizzard and they'll single-handedly destroy him. Pretty much Lulu's going to destroy the last two. If I highly recommend going if you could have got double cast for Lulu. Do it. This part would have been super easy. Why is Kamari missing so much? I Kamari I thought had the best accuracy.
great. Again, overcast would have pretty much, or sorry, double cast would have got pretty much all of them. But now we have the last fight, which is Yu Yevin itself, which is actually, in my opinion, looks like a parasite. together okay huh what I'm trying to say is after we beat you Yevon I'll disappear what are you talking about I'm saying goodbye. Not now. I know it's selfish. This is my story. This is my story. All right. This is honestly where you just bring on Yuna. Bring up. Oh, it won't let me. Oh, because she's got no Aeons left. Damn. That's... That changes things. Okay. So, for this battle, you're at, all your melee guys can pretty much attack the uh, stones. I highly recommend taking them out, casting a reflect on the uh, on you, Evan, so that he, when they do come back, they can't heal. Um, really, all you need to do is just take out one of them. And you can just simply just pound the shit out of this guy. Forgot. Uh, well. I hate that thing. I don't get how to do that. So dumb. I I spin my right controller so much. It doesn't. All right. So like I mentioned to you, bring out Lulu. But reflect on him now, so that when he does heal. It'll actually bounce off and come to us. Keep the right one asleep pretty much or knocked out
like I said, round and pound now. Uh... That move can never kill you. It'll always, always just take half your health. And do damage to him, which is pleasing. Oh, wait. He has no one. Crap, I forgot when he put reflect on it. He stupid mud. Okay, let's try this again. How about this? That's a huge loss. But he starts doing this once he kind of panics once he gets to like this kind of stage. Take out that. And I just honestly, I just keep smacking him now, and this is where battle gets pretty much easily won. Except for this move can kill you though. He only starts casting this once he gets past a certain part of his health bar. I call it the oh crap moment. Does he have zombie on? Us. No, we could do. As he has zombie on right now, he's pretty much useless, and we'll just put armor break on him. And this fight is pretty much done. Alright guys, GG, you beat the game. How's it feel? That you, Yevon, ideally killed himself for you to win the game. <laughs> Give your hand... Give yourself a clap. You guys deserve it if you beat this game.
Uh, there will be a part where I will have to lower it really down because, for one, uh, maybe not. There's not much of a song in there. Never mind. Scratch that. Stop. But I... It's all right. It's been long enough. This is your world now.
have to go. Oh. I'm sorry I couldn't show you Xanarkin. Goodbye. Oh. Hey. We're gonna see you again. You know. Yuna, it's time. Everyone, everyone has lost something precious. Everyone here has lost homes, dreams, and friends. Everybody, now Sin is finally dead. Now, Spira is ours again. Working together. Now we can make new homes for ourselves and new dreams. Although I know the journey will be hard, we have lots of time. Together, we will rebuild Spira. ahead of us so let's start out today
never forget them. All right, guys, I'm going to I muted this part just because they brought back the. Absolutely amazing. Force song in this, but. Uh, what a game, what a game. Um, still one of my favorite FFX or Final Fantasy games in general. Uh, seven still has a traditional spot in my heart. Nine will always be there because of the absolutely long storytelling that I absolutely love. Ten still is the, the story, the gameplay, and I mean it's not terribly hard to pick up. But at the same time, it's it's a beautiful story. Um, you didn't get emotional at the end. I don't know what to say, <laughs> but yeah, that that was a hell of an ending. Um, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna skip to the end because I think there, I from what I remember, it's been a minute since I played this. I think there's a cutscene at the end. Actually, you know what? Let's just end the video here. If there is a cutscene at the end, it'll be something you guys can see at the end. But for me personally, I just want to say thank you guys for uh, sticking out through this video. I know it was a long one. Uh, 28 parts that we did. There could be some more coming in the future. Uh, if we get some comments saying, yeah, bro... I'd love to see you do uh, Omega Ruins, or hey, you know, you were mentioning before about overpowering your character. I'm having problems with this boss fight. Can you show me how to do that in the arena? I will obviously do that for sure. For sure. But if you guys are uh, content with just seeing how it, the game ends, please just play it yourself. Have a great time playing it. Don't rush it. This is your first time playing absolutely enjoy it and honestly that that ending top notch but if you guys haven't hit that subscribe button please do so if you want to see me on my twitch channel i'm probably even live right now potentially i stream pretty much full time every day um due to holidays coming up for christmas i might be taking some time off so i may not have anything live for a week or so but if you guys want to follow me on twitch information is down below and honestly guys thank you so much for being here uh until the next video we're gonna probably start god of war the uh 2018 one before we're gonna play that on the hardest difficulty and i mean the hardest difficulty and uh we're gonna do the whole part part through that where i'm gonna show you how to find everything whether you're playing this on the normal level or not it's the same thing but all right guys until next video, have a good day. Thank you so much. Bye.